14 and 3. This is a rematch of a game played back on uh, December 14th. The Rams won that one 38 to 27. But I'll tell you what, the Vikings were just, that was their opening game of the year and just hadn't really found themselves yet. So tonight should be quite different. If we can hold Petersburg to 27 or 30 points, uh, that'd be uh, amazing. I think Coach Sosley would be more than pleased with another you know, 27 points out of Petersburg, but I, something tells me that's not going to happen. He made that comment again over the weekend when I talked to him that one of the hardest things that he needed to work on in you know, practice yesterday was convincing them that, you know, convincing our kids that Petersburg is going to score more than 27 points. Uh, you look back at that game and, you know, think it may be a little bit easy, but as we said, they reeled off, you know, 11 out of 12 or whatever, you know, we said it is right now, so it, it's going to be a dog fight, there's no doubt. Yeah, they lost to uh, Southern at Southern, they lost to Allegheny down there, and they lost to Tucker County at Tucker County, so pretty good foes there, but we're about ready to get underway, Brad Reese. Comes on the court along with Corey Tresler, Corey Mosley, Eric, or Chris Miller, and Evan Lance. center circle and joining him will be Kevin Burton I do believe let's see nope looks like it's going to be Josh Taylor the 6-2 well, I'm not really sure Everybody in there right now we'll maybe he's going to do it by himself <laughs> I think it'll be number 34 Josh Taylor will jump 6-2 against 6-2 senior against senior we're about ready to get underway we hope you enjoyed tonight's game whistle blows the ball Gets it back to Reese. Reese down the right side to the elbow. Now he'll back off in the front court. Takes it down to the right wing. Looking in low. Bounce pass comes back outside to Tressler. Tressler travels as he took a hesitation step. And uh, first turnover for the Rams. Vikings get it back. Rams set up in their half court man to man. 30 seconds more in the game. No score. Down the court very quickly is Bohr. Bohr comes down baseline, puts up the shot, no good, but he's fouled. He will go to the free throw line and shoot two. And the foul's on Corey Bosley. That's his first. Last thing the Rams can afford is get Corey in trouble. Travis Bohr, the 5'10 senior, at the line. First shot's up, in and out, will not go. Cliff Alt, the other starter, is also a 5'10 uh, player. He's a junior, though. All guys are 6'2", Taylor, 6'3", Burton, and 6'4", Wetzel. Second shot up, also no good. Still no score here. Very quickly, down it comes. Down the right flash line, Tressler gets it out to Lance. 15-foot jump around the rim, won't go. Ball pounded up and finally rebounded by Wetzel. Down court it comes to Bohr. Bohr on the baseline, loses the ball, but gets it back. Brings it out to Taylor. Taylor inside, little short jumper put up down there. By Burton's no good, and the rebound's for Brad Reese. Reese will bring it back into the front court to the right wing. Takes it down baseline. Can't get the shot off. Back out it goes to Lance. Over on the left side to Mosley. Down under seven minutes to play. 6.50. Still no score in the game. This is Reese. 
in the front court. Couple dribbles, picks it up. Now it goes to Miller at the top of the key. Miller, couple of dribbles, tries to get it inside to Pressburg, goes off his foot. Out of bounds, another turnover. That's number two for the Rams here in the first quarter. Both teams a little tight. Yeah, they're just not getting into the flow yet, but one thing that sticks out real, really quick is Travis Boer is quick from inline to inline. They're going to have trouble containing him. Ball goes over on the left side to Taylor. Taylor with a fake, gets it down into Ben Wetzel. Wetzel has the layup, and Petersburg goes on top 2-0 with 6.15 to go here in the first quarter. Right side it comes to Reese. On the wing, they lob it down inside to Lance. Lance spin dribbles down to the baseline, gets it back outside, and it goes to Miller. Miller gets fouled on the floor. Foul's going to go, I believe, against Ben Wetzel as they come over, and it is. That's Wetzel's first. First team foul for the Vikings. Now we got Bosley and Wetzel both with one foul, and there's the two players that can't get in foul trouble tonight. Bosley in the front court. Down in the left-hand corner it goes Tressler. Tressler comes out, pops up jumper from 18, no good. Rebound, tapped around, goes out of bounds. Petersburg ball. Evan Lance was up there, tried to uh, tap it to one of the uh, Rams, but nobody could get there, and it went out of bounds. Rams will pick up full court now. And the ball comes in to Boer. He'll work against Reese. Up the right side of the court, Reese cuts him off as he gets into the front court. Brings it to the, between the circle, goes over on the right side to Taylor, drops it off in the corner, back out to Boer, top of the key, down the lane, got away with a little bit of a skip ball. Rebound is pulled down by Corey Bosley. Bosley brings it very quickly into the front court. We have a uh, little girl out on the court, and Brad Reese just about yeah. went over. Yeah, I looked down for just a minute and looked up, and Brad was trying to dodge her. That could have been really yeah, bad. been bad for uh, her especially, but also Brad could have wrapped that knee up yeah. again to that ankle he's got. Inbound pass comes to Trester down the baseline, fakes, puts the shot up, no good. Lance uh, has the rebound, puts it back up and in. Evan Lance with the putback, and we have a 2-2 tie with 5.19 to go in the first quarter. Boer work, tries to work around a pick. Reese gets around it, gets it to Taylor. Goes down to Wetzel. Wetzel turns around, 15-foot jumper in and out, no good. Rebound down underneath is by Taylor. They work it back out to Boer. He'll put a three ball in the air across the rim, no good. Rebound run down in the corner and out of bounds. It'll be Ram basketball. Just under five minutes to play, a 2-2 tie into the ball game. Comes Casey Vance. Out goes Boer. Still both teams just trying to get, you know, feel of each other, I guess, get into the flow of the game. And as you said, just four points total in, what, four minutes? Boy, not a very large crowd here tonight. We'll talk about that the first break we get. Here's Tressler on the right wing. Back out it comes to Lance. Lance in the corner to Bosley. He'll go down the baseline, puts up the runner, blocked underneath as it's rejected down there by Taylor. And Petersburg gets it back. They drop it off on the right side to Cliff Alt. Alt running the point now. And he's being guarded by Bosley. Over on the right side, it goes to Taylor on the wing. Ball high over his head as he brings it back into Burton. Back out in the front court around the key. Over on the left side to Alt. Back out, three-pointer put in the air. Good. Ben Wessel just stepped up and drilled by him from about 23. And it's 5-2 now. Petersburg leads it with 4-10 to go in the first. Here's Miller in the lane. Gets it back over to Tressler. Tressler for three. He answers it right back. Corey Tressler ties the game at five. 3.58 to go. This is Alt as he brings it into the front court. Working against Brad Reese. Takes it down the right side of the lane. Puts the shot up. Blocked there by Lance. And Lance picks it up on the baseline, gets it to Bosley. Down court it comes to Reese. Reese goes baseline, drops it over on the near side, but his pass is stolen away as uh, Burton picked it up. Turnover number four for the Rams here in the first uh, quarter. Makes that number three. This is Vance, and he kicks it over on the left side to Burton. Back out, top of the key, it goes to Alt. Alt backs off between the circles, brings it there on the left wing. They try to lob it inside, nobody home. They tried to work it in to Ben Wetzel. Uh, Wetzel wasn't there, goes out of bounds. First turnover for Petersburg. It looks like early uh, Corey Tressler is really getting into the game. I think he seemed like a little slow getting into it, had a little trouble getting into the game Saturday night at Williamsport, so that's good to see. Here's Bosley down the right side of the lane, goes down for left, but the ball is blocked by Burton. 
And taken off the board by Wetzel. Wetzel comes down, kicks it over on the right side. Back to pass goes inside to Josh Taylor, and Taylor has the layup. Boy, they beat him down the court, got the transition, uh, got the transition basket. 2.51 to go, 7-5 Petersburg. Bosley drops it to Miller. Miller loses the ball, but it goes right over to Reese. Reese comes up with it, gets it back to Bosley in the front court. Bosley calls play number three as he takes it around the screen by Miller. Can't really get there, though. It's some nice defense by Alt. Alt gets it back to Miller. He drops it to Tressler. Tressler back to Bosley in the front court. 2.24 to go in the quarter. Bosley takes it to the left side, drops it off to Tressler. Tressler back to Miller. Miller just uh, moved both feet, just stood there and stopped and got a travel, or got a traveling violation. Not really trying to make a move or anything, just kind of shuffled his feet as he was standing there. Unforced by unforced turnover, and that's number four. 7-5 with 2.12 to play here in the first quarter. This is Alt. Comes up court, goes around a little bit of a screen, drops it back to Burton. Burton gets it down the baseline. They try to get a give and go into Wetzel, and the ball is tapped out of bounds. End of the ball game for the Rams comes Brett DeWitt, and uh, out will go Chris Miller. Brett DeWitt adds, adds just a little bit of quickness to the lineup when he comes in. Inbound pass comes into Vance. Out in the front court, over it comes. Here's a shot from the line. It's two. It's good. Kevin Burton gets his first basket of the night. Petersburg leads it nine to five. Rosley brings it back into the front court. Sit over on the right wing to DeWitt. Down in the corner it goes to Tressler. Tressler brings it back out. Around the top it goes to DeWitt. Now to Bosley on the left wing. Bosley sets up to Tressler. He'll put the three ball in the air around the rim. Won't go. Rebound tapped out long. Pulled down by Alt. Alt takes it down. Puts up the shot around the rim. Won't go. Rebound is by Reese. Back up very quickly. The Rams come. They work it over to Lance. Lance takes the baseline. Puts the shot up. No good. Partially blocked. Rebound is tapped out, picked out deep by Vance. Vance kicks it over on the left side. All back to Vance. Back in the left-hand corner it goes, now down underneath. And the shot put up down there is good by Josh Taylor. He has two baskets here in the first quarter. It's 11-5. Rams trail by six. Here's Corey Tressler just beating everybody down the baseline. He puts it back up and in. 54 seconds to go, 11-7 is the Rams trail by four now. Into the front court is Alt. He kicks it over on the right side to Vance. Ball high over his head. He goes down baseline. Corey Tressler gets knocked to the floor as he runs into a pick and a three-point shot put up. That was by Alt, I believe. He got three, and another moving pick just knocked uh, Corey, Tress Corey Bosley flat. We saw that in the JV game, a moving pick flat in one of the JV uh, players. Down to 20 seconds to go. Bosley stands in the center circle, waiting for the clock. It's down to 14. 14 to 7 is our score. The Rams trail by 7. Clock's at 8. 7. Tressler sets up the screen. Bosley goes around, comes down, fakes, stops, puts up the little jumper. Round the rim won't go. And with that, the first quarter comes to an end. With the score, the Vikings 14 and the Rams 7. We'll be back after this. Greg's Pharmacy has been a part of the community for many years. They're there for you when you need them, even in times of emergencies. Greg's accepts multiple prescription insurances, the Together Card, and they process Medicare billing. They carry a complete line of hospital and surgical supplies, including walkers, canes, crutches, wheelchairs, tub rails, and electric hospital beds. From Band-Aids and allergy medicines to blood monitoring systems and diabetic supplies, Greg's Pharmacy has it. Good luck and go Rams from Greg's Pharmacy in Oakland. If you are looking for a great buy on a used car or truck, come see our selection at Team One. We have taken in some mighty fine trades, and these pre-owned models have plenty of life left in them. Don't forget, Team One has the absolute lowest prices on new units, too. From Chevrolet, Buick, Pontiac, and GMC. Whether it's a car, truck, or SUV, see Team One, the GM Giant. Just minutes from Deep Creek Lake, across from Walmart Supercenter in Oakland. Just look for our giant American flag. Team One and Chevrolet, an American revolution. 92.3, the train. Well, we're back 14-7. The Vikings lead it. We start the second quarter. The Rams will have the basketball to start that second quarter. 
Stay tuned for our post-game show. We'll have our interview with Coach Tom Bosley and also name our Browning's Open Foodland player of the game. Here we go. Brad Reese works the pass into Bosley in the backcourt. And we're underway. Rams trail by seven going into the second quarter. Bosley takes it down the right side of the lane, all the way down, puts up the shot. It counts. Is it going to be a floor foul or a shooting foul? I believe they counted the bucket. Corey got a layup. Count the basket. Corey Bosley gets his first basket of the night. And a chance for the three-point opportunity now as he uh, just cleared everybody out. Went down the right side of the lane. And a chance to bring the Rams back to within four. And out of the lineup comes Ben Wetzel now as he takes the seat. Bosley with the chance for the three-point play, the old-fashioned way, from the foul line. Just underway here in the second quarter, and Bosley hits it. So the Rams get three, and now it's a four-point game at 14-10. to 10. Coming up court is Casey Vance at the point. Gets it over on the right side to Burton. Burton with the ball high over his head, back out to Vance. Vance takes it down into the right corner to Rohrball. Back out it comes around the top of the key, back over on the left side to Alt. Or make that Vance. Vance off, puts up the jumper off the rim, no good. Kressler on the rebound for the Rams. And back on the attack, Corey Bosley into the front court, over on the left side to Reese, back to Bosley. Bosley brings it right side now, gets it to Tressler. Chris Miller back into the Ram lineup. They go to Reese at the top of the key. He'll take it right side over on the wing. Looking for the opening down low. Can't get there. Backs off. Skip pass cross court. Tressler takes it down the baseline. He tries to put up the shot. He's hammered. And that goes against Kevin Burton. That's his first and the second team foul. Well, we want to maybe make a note here. We'll keep an eye on that was the second foul for Ben Wetzel there a while ago, and it, they took him out of the game immediately. Oh, it was. That was uh, 7.45 left in the second quarter. We're just keeping an eye on what that does to the game, but we made the comment you know, that Coach Bosley, what he thought of Ben Wetzel. Yeah, I wondered why he was out. It was 14-10 at the time when they came out, so we'll see, see how that goes. Tressler makes one, misses one, but Lance gets the rebound, but has it taken away, and the ball comes down to Vance. Vance takes it down the right side. Three-point game now, 14-11, 6.54 to go in the first half. Ball goes inside, whistle. What do we got? Foul on Brad Reese as he runs into a screen and uh, they get the call. So it'll be a uh, non-shooting foul. Ball comes in on the left side to Rohrball. Rohrball drops it down underneath, gets it down to Burton. Burton back out, they drop it down low and wide open under there is Josh Taylor. He has six points here in the first half. Back to a five point game at 16 to 11. Here's Bosley, he takes it into the left corner. Back out front it comes to Tressler. Over on the right side to Miller, down in the corner to Reese. Reese on the right side, back out front to Tressler. Tressler looking for the open, open person underneath, gets it back out to Bosley. Bosley takes it to the top of the key, tries to work it down the lane, can't do it, gets it back to Tressler. Tressler in the lane, ball taken away by Bird. Bird comes down, bounce pass underneath, shots it up, counts the basket. Casey Vance got the basket and he was fouled. And that's the second foul on Brad Reese. Third team foul against the Rams. Really a nice half-court man-to-man defense by Petersburg. They're giving Southern some trouble. Uh, that's six turnovers right now, and I'm sure Coach Bosley not real happy with that. Casey Vance makes a three-point play, and it's 19 to 11. As the Vikings open up an eight-point lead with six minutes to go here in the second quarter. Here's Reese, works the ball underneath. Rant Lance all by himself, puts it up and in. Lance with a little bit of a head fake. Nobody took it. He just fired it up and in. He's been open a couple times down low. They need to look to get the ball into Evan. 19-13 with 5.43 to go in the half. Over it goes to Berg. He's on the right wing, down in the corner. It goes to Taylor, down underneath. Shot put up down there is good. That's uh, Caleb Rohrball, as he got to. 21 to 13 now. Over it goes to Trestler in the left corner. He looks down low, trying to work it into Lance, gets it into him, but uh, in there to take it away on a nice defensive play is Kevin Burton, but he came down on the headline, so the Rams will get it back. 
Tried to lob it over the head, but Burton... Tried to lob it to Evan that time, and just nice upside defense by Petersburg. Yeah, Burton was ready, kind of anticipated the pass. Here's the inbound pass to Bosley. Bosley with a jumper off the baseline, no good. And the rebound pulled down by Rohrball. He drops it very quickly up court to Vance. Works against Reese to the top of the key, kicks it over to the left side, now in the corner, three-pointer in the air, it's good. Caleb Rohrball hits three, that's five quick points for Rohrball. And with that, Coach Tom Bosley wants a timeout. 24 to 13, the Vikings lead it by 11, and uh, 4.58 to go. Just a 30-second timeout gives us a chance to remind you that tonight's game is brought to you by Sheriff Dick Sanders and the Garrett County Sheriff's Department to remind you to be cool, stay in school, and say no to drugs and alcohol. The Rams just having a, a hard time figuring out it's a straight man-to-man -man defense, but it's very aggressive. Yeah, they're not really doing anything that should confuse us any, but yeah, they are playing aggressive, and like I said, we've had a couple opportunities to get it into Evan Lance and just haven't been able to do it. And we commented early in, in the uh, pregame that Coach Bosley needed to convince them that our kids, that Petersburg's not going to score 27 points again. And we've got almost five minutes left in the second quarter, and they've got 24. So. 24. And they hold an 11-point lead as it's 24-13. The Rams will have the basketball. As we get back underway, just under five minutes, as Mike said, it comes in to, get to uh, Corey Bosley. Bosley takes it down the right side, beats everybody down the lane, has the layup. It's good. Five points for Corey Bosley. And the 24-15 game lead cut down to nine. This is Vance as he brings it into the front court. Works it over to the right side. Petersburg sets up a lot of picks and a lot of screens. That's right there at the top of the key, almost each time down. They're really not doing a whole lot different. But. Berg works it out in the front to Burton. Burton back to Berg on the right wing. He comes inside, shoots a 17-footer. No good. Rebound by Miller. Miller comes up with the ball, and they're right on him. And uh, didn't really, I guess he had caught him for the elbow. Official needs to get him off of him, and that wouldn't happen. That was, yeah, all he did, Derek. All he did was come down and clear, and uh, they're right on the him. Area. So, yeah. Just, uh, Didn't make much of a call either, but just a good no call is what that is. And, well, it uh, should have been. That's going to bring Josh Taylor out for a couple of minutes and uh, take a look at him. Certainly nothing intentional about the whole call. He just cleared away, and that's what you got to do. And, and uh, hit him as he came out. Well, we got a sub back in. Cliff Holt will be back into the lineup. Chris Miller looking around like he wasn't sure what happened. He comes out of the game, and uh, Brett DeWitt goes in. Now Petersburg will inbound. They get it into Burton. Burton works it down underneath, and working very quickly is Caleb Roybal, and he has seven points here in the second quarter. And he just can't be stopped right now. We talk about, you know, Southern having trouble against Petersburg's man-to-man. -man. They're not having any trouble at all against ours. Yeah, they're, they're just going pretty much what they want to. Beats underneath really well. Here's a pass to Bosley at the top of the key. Over to Tressler on the left wing. He looks down low as they try to get the ball into uh, Lance. Lance having a lot of problems with Burton as he's being shoved around under there. Out it comes between the circles to Reese. Reese backs off. Goff goes down the baseline to Bosley. Has to go high up to get the pass. He brings it into the lane. Fakes. Gets it back out to Reese. To play in a half. 26-15. Here's uh, Lance trying to get free. Over it comes to Bosley, though. Bosley takes it into the lane. Fakes. Puts up the shot. Tap the basket, and he's fouled. Nice move by Corey Bosley. Just created that foul. The foul is on number 20, Adam Berg. That's his first. He had foul a, number four. They had a mismatch there for a while. Uh, Caleb Roball, listed at six foot, junior, was guarding Evan Lance for a while underneath, but Southern just couldn't get the ball there. Mosley with the free throw. It was off the back rim. No good. Lance has the rebound. Almost has it taken away. Gets it back out to Mosley. Mosley with the fake. Takes it into the lane again. Fakes. Puts it up. He is hammered under there, but then the ball's rejected out of bounds. Two fouls before the block. 
But uh, Well, he got hit on the floor a couple times, maybe not so much on the shot, but yeah. got knocked around a little bit, and then they blocked it out of bounds. Here's Trussler. He takes it in, puts the shot up good. Corey Trussler just muscles his way in and gets the basket. 26-19. The Rams cut the lead down to seven. Here it goes to Alt as he takes it into the front court. There's that pick again as they come back over on the near side. Back it goes to Burton. Burton on the near side. It comes to Berg. He'll take it to the foul line. Has to pick up his dribble back. Outside it comes to the left side. Three-pointer in the air. Around the rim won't go. That was Roball again. Rebound by the Rams. Bosley brings it up to the left side. Minutes to play. They lob it inside to Lance. Lance just puts it right back up and in. Nice move by Lance. He's had that kind of having pinned for a lob there a few times, and we finally got it to him. And uh, they're setting up that illegal pick on every top down court, and uh, Burton hasn't been called for it yet. He has the ball, works it over on the near side to Berg. Berg takes it down the lane, puts it up and in. 28-21, down to seven now. Corey Bosley takes it down the baseline, puts shot up across the rim, won't go. Rebound, pulled down. And outlet comes to Vance. Vance to the top of the key. Kicks it over on the left side to Alt. Takes it into the lane. He walked, but uh, he threw the ball out of bounds, so it's a turnover. Back to the Rams. Nick Gregg into the lineup for Southern now. Clock down to 152 to play. 28-21 is our score. Vikings lead. It worked out pretty good for Petersburg there. They were trying to call time out in that last series before they had the turnover, and then they ended up getting an easy layup out of it. And that's called timeout. Bosley to Tressler on the left wing, back out top of the key to Lance. Bosley in the left hand corner. He'll come around to pick, take it into the lane, stop, fake, puts up the shot, it goes, and count the basket, he's fouled again. Corey Bosley draws Adam Berg into his second foul. So it's 28-23, the Rams cut it to five, and Bosley will have a chance to cut it to four now. He's one for two at the line tonight. Corey's, I'm sorry, Corey's doing a nice job just kind of taking the ball a little bit of one-on-one -on -one because, like I said, we're having trouble with everything else. Corey's made that same move a couple times, get somebody in the air and then take it up through him for a shot. For the three-point play, it's up, it's good. quarter. Here comes Boer back in the ball game. He kicks it over on the right side to Rohrball. Rohrball brings it back out front. Trestler's on him. Down in the corner it goes to Vance. Vance takes it inside. Back out it comes and Nick Gregg takes it away. Knocks it over to Bosley. Rams back on the attack. Bosley comes down. Puts up the shot. Knocks to the floor. Can't get the call and it rebounds by Petersburg. Back up it comes to Vance. Vance stops. Puts the three in the air. Good. What a turnaround that was. Casey Vance hits the three, and we're back to a seven-point ball game. Here's Bosley now as he pulls up the dribble, looking for the pass, goes to Greg over on the left wing, back to Bosley. Clock's under a minute to play, down to 45 seconds. Back out it goes the foul line to Lance. Lance with the dribble, bounce pass goes to Tressler. Tressler, turnaround jumper off the baseline, across the rim won't go, rebound Vikings. Vikings, or they get it over to Boer. And Boer will slow up, and their Vikings will hold for the last shot. I don't really think that's exactly what Southern wanted out of that. Kind of a turnaround, fall away 15-footer by uh, Corey. And uh, I think we could have got something a little better, maybe. Boer out front with 10 seconds on the clock. They drop it off to Vance. Back to Boer, 8 seconds on the clock. 6, now 5. Trying to get around Bosley. Gets away with a the walk. They kick it over on the near side. The shot put up to no good. And with that, our first half comes to an end. And the score, the Petersburg Vikings 31, the Rams 24. And uh, just another very, very physical game that uh, just frankly the Rams aren't getting any of the calls from. Yeah, they've, they've got a couple, you know, that could have went our way. The last time, the one that kind of stands out was Corey came down the court, kind of forced us a little bit on a drive to the, to the bucket. But, I, you know, did draw contact, but they're just not calling as much down here as, you know, you might get in a, in a Maryland, you know, Maryland school somewhere. Well, we're going to take a break. I think we're going to have uh, a couple of uh, Petersburg Viking cheerleaders over for a little uh, uh, thing they want to do here at halftime. We'll do all that when we come back after this. At Petersburg High School, we're at halftime where the Vikings lead the Rams 31-24. to 
uh, in a game that has been very fast-paced up and down the court. And quite frankly, Petersburg Vikings just beating the Rams back on transition and uh, getting a lot of uh, open looks under the basket as we go down uh, into the uh, under the basket with the ball. We have a uh, couple of Petersburg Viking cheerleaders here, and Mike uh, is getting ready. They have a thing they want to talk about on the Anna Smoking thing, and uh, it'll be a good chance to do that. And uh, just kind of waiting here for a second to see how this is all going to work out. Uh, I can uh, give you a quick uh, chant look at the halftime stats, and our halftime scoring summary is brought to you by Sheriff Dick Sanders, the Garrett County Sheriff's Department. For the Southern Rams, Corey Bosley is in with 10 points all in the second quarter. Evan Lance has six, and Corey Tressler has eight, and that's the scoring for the Rams. For the Petersburg Vikings, Cliff Ault is three, Adam Berg has two, Casey Vance has six, Caleb Rohrball with seven all in the second quarter, Josh Taylor with six, Kevin Burton with two, and Van Wetzel has uh, eight. Stay tuned for our post-game show. We'll have our post-game interview with Coach Tom Bosley, and also... We'll name our Browning's Open Foodland player of the game. It will be Petersburg basketball when we get into action here, which will be very shortly. Rams appear to be coming out with their original starting lineup of Corey Bosley, Brad Reese, Chris Miller, Evan Lance, and Corey Tressler. Looks like the same for Petersburg. They'll start Travis Bohr, Cliff Alt, Josh Taylor, Kevin Burton, and Ben Wetzel's back in, who set out, what all but, what we say, 15 seconds of the third quarter. Second quarter. Or second quarter, I'm sorry, and they, uh, you know, they built on that lead, actually, from when he came out, so that's... Takes it into the front court, kicks it over to Alt, between the circles, over on the left side, now they lob the ball down si inside, it's tipped back out to Taylor, Taylor tries to get the ball over to Wetzel, Wetzel picks it up, gets it over on the right side, now it goes back over on the left side. Here's a 15-foot jumper put up across the rim. No good by Taylor. And a whistle on the rebound. Foul goes on number 40. That is Kevin Burton, his second personal. Here in the second half. Here's, oh no, it must have been against uh, Corey Tressler. I'm sorry. As Petersburg got the ball and put it back up and missed it. And the rebound by the Rams. Over it goes. I thought he said white 40. He said red 40. Here is Bosley now out front trying to set up something. He'll come over to the left side, gets it to Lance, top of the key. Over on the right side to Tressler. Back to Lance. Lance with a fake. Comes in, takes it in, puts it off the glass. No good. Gets his own rebound. No, Bosley comes up with the rebound. He takes it back inside. Fakes, puts up the shot. It won't go. Whistle on a foul call. That could be number three on Burton. Let's see who gets it. Well, no, that's number two, because the last one wasn't on him. I thought it was, but it wasn't. So, Bosley will step to the line. He'll shoot two. The foul line to our left. We're set up at the scores bench, which is pretty handy. At least we know what's going on. First shot by Bosley's good. Lead down to six now, 31-25. And Bosley rolls the first one off the rim, and it, or second one, rather, and it will not go. Rebound by Burton. Outlet pass to Boer. Uh, He'll work it up court against Reese. There's that pick set up again, and the ball goes over on the right side, back over to the left to Taylor. They work the ball underneath. Shot put up under there by Ben Wetzel. He gets free underneath and uh, has the opening, has the shot. Here's Reese as he goes inside. Bounce pass taken away. Intercepted by Taylor. Taylor all the way down the court, puts the shot up. And the ball is taken out of bounds by Corey Tressler. A nice block from behind. Southern needs to realize that they're going to set a pick out there every time. And no one is calling it out either, but, I mean, yeah. they're doing it every time down. So we should, you know, recognize that it's coming. Out it comes to Alt at the top of the key. He'll take it down the left side of the lane. Can't get there. Kicks it back out front to Boer. Down near 6-10 to go here in the third quarter. 33-25, we've got an eight-point game. They work the pass inside, shot put up down there by Wetzel, rejected by uh, Lance, and it comes down to Bosley. Bosley brings it down to the left side, kicks it over to Tressler, back to Bosley out front, under six minutes to play now. 
He'll take it over on the right side on the wing. Picks up the dribble, gets it to Reese out in the front court. Reese over to Tressler on the right wing. Tressler is working against Taylor, takes it baseline, puts the shot up, and Taylor forces him out of bounds. That's the first foul on Taylor, second team foul against the Vikings. 5.42 to go in the third quarter, 33-25. Petersburg leads it. Inbound off the baseline. Waits looks for Tressler. Tressler breaks loose, takes it into the lane, loses it, gets it back though. Now he fakes, puts the shot up, caps the basket, he's fouled. Boy, Tressler and Mosley both very good at drawing the fouls. 34 gets the call. That's number two on Josh Taylor. Third team foul. Lee cut down to six now, 33-27, and uh, Tressler with a chance to make it five with the three-point play. Puts it up with the right hand. It's good. Five-point game. 33-28. Rams pressing full court now, and it'll uh, be a half-court trap or just full court man-to-man. There's the pick again, and Maurice runs into it again, but uh, Bohr has to stop and release again, and there's, uh, they're sticking the knee out on that thing. Here's a shot put up, and rolls around the rim and drops in. It's a three-pointer by Caleb Rohrball. Now it goes on the right wing to Tressler, 36-28, back to an eight-point game now. Bosley out front in the center circle. Takes it over to the top of the key, works it down the lane, fakes, stops, ducks under, puts the shot up, counts the basket, and he's fouled. Calls another foul, makes the basket. Foul is on number 12, Cliff Alt. That's the first foul on Alt. As I just drew a line somewhere, I don't know where it is, now they've got it back. Mosley will step the line. He'll have a chance for the three-point play again. 36-30. And now 31 as it goes up and kisses the top of the board and then falls in. Five minutes to play in the third round. Trail by five. Very quickly up court comes Moore into the front court. Takes it over to the right side. Comes over to Vance in the lineup. Back out front it goes to Wetzel. Wetzel inside, now gets it back, top of the key, throws up a three-pointer off the rim, no good. Rebound is by Brad Reese. I don't think they wanted that shot either. Reese into the front court, drops it off to Miller. To Bosley. Bosley looks down low, takes it down the baseline, fake stop, puts up a little short jumper, no good. Miller with the rebound, he puts it back up, counts the basket, Chris Miller's fouled. He got the Vikings off their feet and then got the basket and cuts the lead to three, 36-33, and he'll go to the line for the three-point attempt. Nice job by Chris Miller. He's kind of standing flat-footed when he got the rebound around some bigger guys inside, but one head fake got him, got them in the air again. And he puts the shot up. It's good. We're down to a two-point game, 36-34, and with that, Coach Moore of the Vikings wants a timeout. 4.26 to go, 36-34 Petersburg. We'll be back after this. Rehab, they know that rehabilitation is like climbing a mountain. Challenging, tough, even discouraging. But reaching the peak of your performance is worth the work. At Peak Rehab, you'll get one-on-one -on -one care, a staff that's friendly and understanding, with cutting-edge technology and techniques. Peak Rehab offers physical, occupational, and speech therapy, physical work evaluations, vision rehab, and so much more. Call Peak Rehab today at 301-533-1010 and reach your peak performance. 92.3, the train. Well, we're back. The Rams trailing 31-24 uh, at halftime. Halfway through the third quarter has cut that lead down to two. Uh, Corey Bosley drawing some fouls underneath. Chris Miller at the right place at the right time. Got a rebound, put it back up, got the foul. And Corey Tressler also working underneath. So get back into the ballgame. Yeah, we do. Came out playing a little bit harder. And like I said, there's been more of these what we call them the old-fashioned three-pointers, I guess, than, than I've seen in a long time. And uh, it's just because you know, they're jumping on every head fake, and we're doing a nice job of finishing the, the basket and converting the three-point play. Here is Boer as he brings it up against Lance. 
They'll look for that pick, and here it is. It comes over this time. Reese gets around it. Back out it comes. Top of the key to Wetzel. Wetzel lobs it inside on the give and go. Has the shot partially blocked. Evan Lance comes down with the rebound. To Mosley. Back up it comes to Tressler. Tressler takes it down the lane. Fakes puts it up. Pulls around the rim. Won't go. Gets his own rebound. Puts it back up and in. We're tied. Corey Tressler working hard underneath, and we're tied at 36. Stop, 15 foot jump around the rim, won't go, taps up and in, and uh, it's good by Ben Wetzel, and he comes down on an ankle, it's like he might be uh, hobbling a little bit. Over it goes on the right side to Tressler, back to Bosley, left side to Reese, between the circles to Tressler, around the top of the key on the right side, Bosley, Bosley back out to Reese, left side, Tressler stops, three ball in the air, off the rim, won't go, lands up to get the rebound, and he goes over the top, and picks up his first foul. Uh, reaching over the top on the rebound. Yeah, Evan being a little aggressive down there. That's, you know, just going for the rebound. Maybe not a real good shot by Corey. He didn't come off a pick or come off, you know, anything in the offense to get that three. Kind of forced it maybe a little bit. Vikings lead 38-36, 3.20 to go. Third quarter action from Petersburg High School. He brings it into the front court. Four picks up the dribble now. Works it over on the left side to Rohrball. Down in the corner. Pass goes down to Vance. Back over out front, now Vance on the left wing again. He'll take it into the lane. Bounce pass on the near side. Four puts up the jumper across the rim, won't go. Rebound ran down by Taylor. He turns around, puts up the 10-foot jumper, no good. And on the rebound, Four comes up, gets the rebound, but throws it out of bounds, and the Rams will get it back. Yeah. 2.53 to go in the third. The Rams have a chance to tie. Maybe go ahead if they can hit a three. Bosley will bring it in. Now we're looking at a 2-1-2 zone by the Vikings, or a 2-3 zone, I guess it is. Over it comes to Reese on the left side, back out between the circles, over it goes to Bosley. Bosley takes it in the lane, gets it out to Reese. Reese kicks it over on the left side, Tressler. He goes baseline, robs it back out to Reese. Reese with a nice catch, gets it to Bosley in the right-hand corner. Skip pass back cross court. Tressler takes it down the lane, soft, puts up the shot, and uh, has to stop, and Kevin Burton stopped him, and Tressler commits the travel. Second turnover. A little bit of foul trouble for Petersburg is one reason they may have went to the 2-3 zone. It's, they've got five team fouls already in this half. Here is the ball coming on the near side. They kick it over on the left side now to Rohrball. Back near side to Boer. Over it comes to Vance on the right side. They work it inside, back to Vance. He stops, puts the three in the air, off the rim, no good. High up to get the rebound is Chris Miller. Miller clears it out, gets it to Mosley. Mosley down on the left wing to Tressler. They lob it inside to Lance. Lance back to Tressler. Tressler, three ball in the air. Count it! Corey Tressler hits the big three. And the Rams go in front, 39-38, with 1.44 to go in the third. Gets it over on the near side to Vance. To the foul line to Burton. Burton drops it off down low to Taylor. He has the layup no good, but uh, the rebound is ran down back out front by Rohrball. Rohrball with it. Gets it back out to Vance. Vance on the near side to Boer. Boer takes it. Has to look around the official, see what he's going to do. They kick it off. There's another three in the air. Short, no good. Tressler gets the rebound, taps it over to Lance. Lance gets it out to Bosley. Bosley fakes, takes it down on the baseline. Now he backs away, gets it out to Tressler. Tressler to Bosley in the left-hand corner. Back out it comes. One minute to play in the third quarter. Over it goes to Reese. Skip pass, cross court to Bosley. He takes it into the lane, kicks it back over to uh, Reese. Reese with a 15-foot jumper off the baseline. And the Rams lead by three, 48, or 41-38. Nice, nice ball move by Southern. They kept kind of skipping it across that zone, and then Brad was wide open on the baseline for about a 15-footer. Last shot. Four out front with 30 seconds to go. Works against Reese. Works it on the near side. Ball comes over to Vance. Vance almost has it taken away. He kicks it back out. Over in the right corner, back out it comes to Vance again. Works against Bosley, gets it over to Boer with 18 seconds on the clock. He takes it between the circles, down the right side of the lane, lobs it down to Vance in the corner. 10 seconds, three-pointer put up by Boer is no good. Rebound by Bosley. Bosley uh, has the 
has the ball knocked away, and the Rams will get it back with four seconds to go. From seven down at the end of the third quarter, now they lead by three with four seconds. Over it goes to Truster with three, two, stops, puts up the long jumper. Oh, off the back of the rim, almost went. And with that, the third quarter comes to an end. The Rams lead at 41-38. We'll be back after this. What did your three? is recognizing shapes, colors, and numbers. Your daughter learns manners by visiting a restaurant for lunch and explores books at the library as she learns about teamwork. Good luck and go Rams from Renaissance Early Learning Center, the Little People Place, located on 3rd Street in Oakland, 334-2081. 92.3, the train. Rams on a 17-7 uh, run there in the third quarter. Got the lead back as they lead by three now. And uh, tell you what, I, don't know, I didn't pick up the adjustments the Rams made, but they've really picked it up here in the second half. Yeah, just what we needed, obviously, to you know come out and get a good third quarter. At least you know cut into that lead would have been you know we'd have been happy with that. But certainly to you know score by 10, gain a three-point advantage on the third or the fourth quarter. I don't know either what, you know, that we did anything a whole lot different. Uh, we just, you know, played well and got the ball inside, a few more of those head fakes, and shot the ball pretty well, and turned into a three-point lead. And the Rams will have the ball back to start the fourth quarter. Our old employer sitting across the way, who I was pointing out there, as Reese will get the ball in as he brings it in. Corey Bosley. Bosley gets it back over to Reese on the right wing. Ball high over his head. Skip pass. Knocked down, but it's fought for. It's on the floor. Bosley dies for it. Gets it out. Gets it back to DeWitt. DeWitt back out front to Tressler. Back over to Bosley. Bosley in the left corner. Back to Tressler out front. Back to Bosley. Head fake. Dribble. Skip pass. Cross court to Tressler. Tressler takes it in the lane. Drops it inside to Evan Lance. What a pass. Lance has the layup. The Rams lead by five. Nice effort by Corey. He kind of hung in the air and found Evan wide open underneath. Coming down is Caleb Rohrball now as he takes it over on the right wing. Stops, works the ball down low to Burton. Burton back out. It comes to Vance. Vance takes it in the lane, kicks it to Moore. Now back to Vance in the front court. Ball high over his head as he backs off. Bosley right with him. Takes it down the right side. Bounce pass goes to Boer. Left side, he'll bring it into the lane all the way down. Puts up the runner good. Nice move by Travis Boer as he gets his first points of the night here in the fourth quarter. Back in the lineup, Ben Wessel gets ready to come in for the Vikings. Bosley with the basketball and the fake. Bounce pass to Tressler on the left wing. Kessler gets it back out front to Reese. Reese goes down over the right side. It goes to Bosley. Bosley back over to Reese. Takes it down the lane. Drops it off to DeWitt. DeWitt has the shot rejected, but Bosley's there. Picks it back up. Whistle and... And they call a traveling violation. Uh, he went up for the shot. Was uh, pretty much hammered on it. He came down. And they call traveling. Or he kind of got the rebound after Brett DeWitt. You know, got the shot got blocked and should have been a jump ball from what I saw. He got tipped when it was in the air and Corey came down with it. Yeah. Well, anyway, here come the, the Vikings back up court. Goes over. Here's a 17-foot jumper put up. It's good by Kevin Burton. He has four points on tonight. And it's a one-point game again. The Rams lead 43-42. Reese on the left wing. Back to Bosley. Bosley with the fake. Back to Reese. Top of the key. Kicks it over on the right side to Tressler. Skip pass cross court to Bosley. Bosley with the fake. Takes it inside. Gets it out to Reese. Reese down the lane. Over to Tressler. Three-pointer. Good. Corey Tressler hits another big three from the right side. And the Rams back to a four-point lead at 46-42. Brings it into the front court, kicks it over on the right side, back out it comes to Burton. Burton over on the left side, now he gets the ball back, top of the key to Boer. He'll kick it over on the right side, whistle, under the basket, away from the ball, a foul called. Foul's called on uh, Corey Tressler. No idea. They were bumping down there, him and... Him and Ben Wessel, you know, for the whole series there, even, you know, ball was thrown outside. Kind of contact both ways. I didn't really see anything that Corey did. 
Yeah, 30 second call, uh, timeout called by Coach Tom Bosley. 5.35 to go in the ball game. Rams lead 46-42 here at Petersburg. Chance to remind you once again, tonight's game brought to you in part by Sheriff Dick Sanders, the Garrett County Sheriff's Department. We remind you to be cool, stay in school, say no to drugs and alcohol, and also by the Terra Alta Bank with locations in Oakland and Terra Alta, and also by the Garrett County Memorial Hospital where they give quality care close to home. Rams back on the court. The Vikings will have the basketball on the baseline after the foul call on Corey Tressler. He has two. Five team fouls against Petersburg, three so far against the Rams. Inbound pass comes back deep to Boer. Takes it against Reese to the left side. Now comes around. Over it comes to Vance. Vance back out front to Burton. Over in the left-hand corner, they work the ball inside. Bosley takes the ball away, and it's knocked out of bounds. They're trying to get into Wessel, and Bosley was right there help side. Ben Wessel's really working hard inside, you know, getting a little bit of separation, and then Corey helps on the on the back side. Yeah, they tried to lob it into Wetzel and they got a little bit too high and it goes out of bounds. The Rams get it back. 5.22 to go. The Rams with the basketball and a four-point lead. 46 to 42. Bosley brings it into the front court. Calls the play. Wants to set up the pick. Take it himself. He takes it down the lane. Soft ball taken away though underneath as it's taken away down there by Casey Vance but he carries it out of bounds. And the Rams will get it back. Will inbound off the baseline. Bobs it in, gets it into Lance in the corner. Back out it comes to Bosley. Back in the corner to Trestler. He's back to Bosley. Bosley takes it down underneath the basket, puts the shot up no good, and the rebound's pulled down under there by Taylor. Now this pass very quickly to Vance. Vance inside, and a little fake move, and a shot put up by Kevin Burton. And Burton has six points on tonight. We have a two-point game, 46-44, Southern in the lead. 4.42 to play. Over it goes to Tressler, to Reese. Reese backs off between the circles, gets it to Bosley on the right side. Clock down to four and a half minutes to play. DeWitt in the corner with it. Brett picks up the dribble, gets it back out to Reese. Now across court pass to Bosley. Bosley gets it over to Tressler. Tressler back behind the arc, backs off into the front court. Couple of dribbles, picks it up now, and lobs it back out to Bosley. Clock down to 4.10 to go. Bosley wants to drive, gets it over to Brett DeWitt on the right wing. Back out it comes to Reese. Over it comes. Bosley goes down the baseline with the head fake. Puts up the shot. Puts it up with the left hand and in. I have no idea how he got that shot off. Rams lead at 48-44, under four minutes to go. In the front court comes Travis Moore now. Bosley finds himself on the floor again. Vance had the ball. Here's a long shot put up by Van Wessel, and Wessel hits it from about 15 for the two-point play. Back to a two-point game, 48-46. Back out it comes to Bosley. Three and a half minutes to play in a ball game. Rams lead by two. Over it goes to Reese. Back out top of the key, Tressler. Tressler gets it back over to DeWitt. Back out between the circles to Reese. Reese <clears throat> works against four. Picks up his dribble now. Gets it to Bosley. Bosley with the fake. Couple of dribbles. Takes it down. Sets the pick. Comes around that pick. Now goes down the baseline. All by himself. Puts up the layup. It's good. Corey Bosley just worked himself free. And got the lead back 50 to 46. Whistle. Timeout called by the Vikings. 2.58 to go. 50 46. The Rams lead it. We'll be back after this. Browning's Foodland wishes the Southern Rams good luck during their basketball season. School sports and activities are an important part of learning, teamwork, and community involvement, as well as a great family bonding experience. Browning's Foodland knows that families have a lot of time constraints. That's why we offer hot Chester fried and rotisserie chicken, pizza, and hoagies perfect for a quick meal, even before a game. You can always count on Browning's friendly, helpful staff and quick checkout lines. Open daily, Route 135, Mountain Lake Park. 
offers the absolute lowest prices in the tri-state area. Continuing with the GM tradition of American quality and value, T1 represents Chevrolet, Buick, Pontiac, and GMC trucks. Zero financing available, along with GM loyalty money and rebates, not to mention deep dealer discounts. T1, the GM giant, has an awesome selection of Chevrolet cars and trucks, Buicks, Pontiacs, and GMCs. So get to T1 across from Walmart in Oakland. Look for our giant American flag. Team one in Chevrolet and American Revolution. 92.3, the train. Well, we're ready to get back underway. Just under three minutes to play in the ball game. Rams lead 50 to 46. Possession error in favor of Petersburg. Neither team in the bonus situation. Here we go. The ball goes on the left side to Boer. Boer stops, tries to lob it back to Wetzel. Wetzel puts up a 16-foot jumper. Good. Ben Wetzel is a shooter. Just inside the line, gets the two-pointer, 50 to 48. Back to a two-point ball game. Here's Bosley now, as he has picked up Phantom Berg to guard him now. Here's the ball stolen away. Moore comes down for the layup, puts it up and in for a time, as Moore picks Brad Reese. And we're tied at 50 with 2.23 to play. Over it goes to Tressler. Tressler on the right side, picks up his dribble, gets it back to Bosley. Mosley works around the pick, takes it down to the left side, picks it up now, gets it back to Tressler. Tressler with a 16-foot jumper, puts the Rams back out in front by two. 52-50 now as we're down to exactly two minutes to play. Into the front court, Boer works again. Here he comes on the right side with it. Now it comes back over to Burton. Burton on the far side to Berg. They try to work it underneath. Ball tapped away under there by Tressler. It comes down to Mosley. Rams back on the attack. 140 to go in the ball game. Rams with the ball and a two-point lead. Tressler, 15-foot jumper off the foul line. No good. Just short. Very quickly. Down court is Wetzel. Wetzel comes down. Stop. 16-foot jumper. No good. Rebound underneath. is put back up and in. Give that one to Josh Taylor. And we have a tie game at 52 with 1.21 to go. Over it comes to Reese. Left side, timeout. Coach Bosley wants to talk things over. See what we got. 1.15 to go. We're tied at 52. We'll be back in just 30 seconds. Don't go away. Putting quality gas in your tank is smart, and filling up at your local Mobile or BP Amico gas station is even smarter. Why? Because BP Amico and Mobile Gasoline keeps your engine clean and running smooth. Stop today and fill up with quality BP Amico and Mobile Gasoline distributed by Peters Fuel Corporation, Oakland. And call Peters Fuel Corporation for your next home heating oil fill-up. Quality service, dependability, and free delivery, too. With over 47 years of service, they're a name to trust. Peters Fuel Corporation, Liberty Street, Oakland. Call 334-2509. 92.3, the train. Well, Mike, uh, your first one of the year. We got the old proverbial barn burner going. Yeah, it's a good game. What Southern's tried, is, you know, if you notice just by the, you know, the broadcast, trying to take a little time off and slow the ball down a little bit. Still looking to shoot. Corey Tressler took a couple, you know, 15 footers. They were good shots. They're not, you know, they're not in a full delay game, but obviously looking for, you know, the best shot they can get, maybe even a layup. Right now, you know, it's tied back up, so that'll change out a little bit. They'll have to go on the attack here pretty soon. Rams with the basketball. The inbound pass comes in to Bosley in the backcourt. Vikings back into half-court, man-to-man. Bosley brings it in, takes it around the pick, down the right side of the lane, drives in, puts the shot up, rejected. Back out to Reese, though. Reese back, back to Tressler. Tressler hands it off to Bosley. Bosley works against Berg. Now he'll back off, take it to the right side. Picks up the dribble, gets it over to Reese. Reese back to Bosley. Bosley, as Berg is right with him, playing some good defense for under a minute to play. Out it goes to Tresser. Now the Rams maybe hold for the last shot. Here's the pass knocked out of bounds. The Rams will get it back with 36 seconds to go. We're tied at 52. Now you got to wait for the last shot. Yeah, there's Bosley calls timeout again. Full timeout, 36 seconds to go. I tell you what, let's take timeout for one more 30-second commercial. 
Hello, this is Jeff Oval from Schaefer Ford Sales inviting you to stop in soon and test drive a great previously owned pickup we have on the lot. It's a 2003 F-150 Super Cab 4x4. Comes with XL Sport Trim, V8, automatic transmission, air conditioning, CD player, and only 14,000 miles on it. Come by soon and test drive this great looking pickup at Schaefer Ford Sales, Route 219 North in Oakland, where vehicles cost less. 92.3, the train. 36 seconds to go in the ball game. We're tied at 52. The possession error is still in favor of the Petersburg Vikings. Neither team in the bonus. The Rams actually with three fouls to give before they get to the bonus. The Vikings with only one. Uh, what do you say, Mike? Will hold to the last shot? I think we would have to now. Uh, we'll, we'll take some time off, and Petersburg is you know, going to let us do that, too. They'll, they'll put pressure on the ball, but you know, it, it's going to come down, I think, to the last shot for Southern if we can hold the ball that long. As you mentioned, there's still one more foul to give for Petersburg, so I would say you know, if it gets down to 15 seconds or so, they may go ahead and foul just to you know, disrupt the offense a little bit because it'll be a non-shooting foul. Here we go. Brad Reese, windbound, gets it to Mosley in the backcourt. And he goes clear back to the foul line, and he'll work across the timeline, takes it down the right side, gets it to Tressler out front. We're down to 24 seconds. Mosley gets it back. Now he'll take a couple of dribbles, gets it to Reese. Reese right back to Mosley. 15 seconds on the clock. Mosley almost forced back court. 10 seconds on the clock, and the Rams will call timeout with 9 seconds to go. Nice ball movement, nice play by Corey Trebosley as he uh, kept dishing the ball off and then getting it right back to him. Yeah, he did a nice job holding the ball. Obviously, Corey Bosley had the ball for most of that 25 seconds there or whatever. Uh, gave it off to Corey Tressler a couple times. He did a nice job. And then uh, finally, uh, Brad Reese also handled it. Right out at the half court line, there was, a, I think, the Petersburg coach was a couple times trying to uh, get maybe a trap type thing out here at, the, at half court because that, you know, that gives a tight area when you're blocked in by that half court line and got over here on the sideline a little bit. And I think uh, Coach Moore was trying to get maybe a double team type situation out there. But yeah, Southern did a nice job. Now nine seconds. That's usually when you start your your last play, your your last second shot type thing is uh, about the 10 second mark anyway. So Southern it'll take a couple seconds to get into it, and I would say you know certainly be the last shot here. Well, the whistle sounds, the buzzer sounds, I should say, and uh, Rams will get it back. They'll have the basketball just inside the uh, front court. They come out with Corey Tressler, Brett DeWitt, Brad Reese, Corey Bosley. Don't forget real quick, uh, Petersburg still has a foul to give, so you might look for him to reach right here or something, or I, I would think so, but maybe not. Bosley with seven, six, five. They clear out for him. He takes it down. He's fouled. He made the basket. No, oh, they call it on the floor. He made the basket. Yeah. A lot of Southern fans, Southern fans came on the court here. They came off the, you know, the bleachers at least. Everybody pretty excited. But clearly the, the referee did make a nice call. He called it right away. He said no shot. Uh, it was on the drive. Uh, they, you know, they bumped him going down the lane. So he did take the shot, but it, actually it was after the, you know, the foul was already called. They want some time put back on the clock. They want two more seconds put back on the clock. We'll see if uh, we get it. We're not going to get it away from home, I can tell you that. Yeah, we can ask all we want, but that isn't going to happen. Just going to have to do a kind of a catch and throw here. Mosley puts it up, he got it! He's in! Cody Mosley hits the jumper with one second on the clock, and the Rams win it 54 52. <laughs> that was the quick bank on Mosley. We about missed that. It happened so quick. That's, I guess, how you write it up. I mean, I said it's, uh, you know, with one second, we don't have the tenth of a second like they do in college where there's a rule where you have to, you know, tip it. But we had one full second where Corey had time to catch it and square himself up and then bury about a 15-footer, and it was nothing but that. There was it, no question. It was all there that. Was they no got question. the ball in the corner. Uh, he just turned and fired it up, and it just drilled it in, and the Rams come away with an amazing victory, 54-52, and uh, Corey Bosley just took care of the player of the game. <laughs> yeah, it was, I hate to say it was up in the air a little bit. Uh, 
because he and Corey Tressler, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves here, but he and Corey Tressler both played excellent games, yeah. I mean, along with some others. But, uh, yeah, I think that kind of, you know, well, the deal there a little bit. But, we may go with co players well, again. We'll, we'll worry about that but, a little uh, bit. Yeah, what an effort. A nice job, too, of uh, clock management, I guess is the right word I want to say. We, uh, you know, we had it with a minute, really, and they, we never gave it up. We took it down to 36 seconds, call timeout. We knocked about 25 seconds, uh, for 25 more seconds off the clock. Took it down to nine seconds. Uh, they, they did fouls. I, you know, I guess I got one right. I said they might do, which was a good idea by them. Uh, fouls with one second left doesn't give us much of an opportunity to set anything up. But they got Corey Bosley free on the baseline, came off of a pick. He caught it clean, squared up, and as we said, buried it. Yeah, there was people on him, too. There was people right in his face. He just lobbed it up high. And uh, it, as you said, nothing but net. It was about 16 or 17 feet off the baseline on the left side. And uh, oh, what a what an ending to a, a great effort by the Rams and a, and a great effort by the uh, Pickers. That's a good high school basketball game. As I said, I haven't seen a whole lot this year, but that's two good teams right there. And we, you know, we said in the beginning that um, you know Petersburg had turned it around from early in the year, and they're ranked fourth, and we're ranked third in the area. And, uh, you know, it, it wasn't going to be easy coming down here. And Coach, you know, tried to get that in everybody's head, and obviously he was right. That's, that's just a nice effort both ways. Corey Mosley, in the last eight seconds, caught the basketball on the inbounds play and brought it up court into the front court, went around the pick, went down the lane, and threw a, uh, fired up a runner from the left side of the lane that actually and went actually, in. He made that one, too. But he was <laughs> fouled on the floor, and they, they decided there was one second left on the clock. And we're sitting here uh, thinking overtime. Uh, they worked the ball into Corey, Bo uh, Trust Corey Bosley again. Corey from about 16 feet lobs one up. It's nothing but the bottom of the net. And the Rams win at 54-52. We'll take a break. We'll be back right after this. Back at Petersburg High School where the Southern Rams have just ran their record of 15-4 and on the season with a thrilling 54-52 victory over the Petersburg Vikings whose record goes to 14-4. and and a game that uh, the Rams were trailing 14-7 to at the end of the first quarter, 31-24 uh, at the half. Uh, Rams went back in the third quarter for a lead, 41-38. And then on a one-second shot by Corey Bosley from about 15 feet off the baseline, they went at 54-52. Coach, uh, I made this comment while we were waiting to get back on the air. you got to start making them exciting or I'm going to quit coming. Well, I don't want you to leave early. I don't want the fans to leave. <laughs> Guys, we feel very fortunate to win. I, I, I thought Petersburg was very, very prepared for us. I thought they did what they needed to do to, to give themselves a chance to win. It helped us that Wetzel was in foul trouble. I think he's a very, very good player. It helped us that we were able to stay out of foul trouble for this reason. We got Brent DeWitt with the flu. We got Nathan Harris with the flu. Uh, Walt advised us to use them sparingly. Maybe Harris not at all. He couldn't breathe. We got Jimmy Heimbaugh at home with the flu. So through that adversity with three of those kids, you're down to, with Joey Tresser's break, we're down to eight eligible players. We had to stay out of foul trouble or we're bringing in people that don't have a lot of experience. So we feel very fortunate to win. Uh, I give a lot of credit to Petersburg. They played so hard. And you know, a lot of teams wouldn't give up that foul and, like they did with one second to go. I, I don't know what you had on the air, but I wasn't trying to get more time in. I was trying to stall so we could get a play run because you just don't have a one-second play. <laughs> okay. So we were trying to run something. We could get something real quick, obviously, or you have no chance. I didn't want to go to a big guy because they're big. They're going to get blocked. So we went with the guy who I felt was hot could at least get it off. It was either going to be Corey Bose or Corey Tresser. I thought they may play Tresser a little better thinking he's bigger. So we chose to run that play to Corey Bosley. Corey Bosley, Corey Tressler, both so many times tonight. Penetrating inside, uh, I don't know if you call it creating the foul or drawing the foul, whatever. Just an excellent job. Uh, I know there was probably at least seven, eight three-point plays because of that. We work hard on shot making every day. It's part of our pre-practice. It's part of our repertoire. It's part of our summers. It's part of what we do because I, I think it's really difficult to get people to stay on their feet, especially at the high school level. The thing about high school, there's not somebody else coming to block it if the first guy swings and misses it, like in college. Dude, the game was called a lot like a college game. That was Jeremy Botkin that played at WVU. That was Rick Hill that played at California University of Pennsylvania for a good friend of Coach Redding and I's, uh, a 
Jim Boone. So those guys have been in college games, big time college games. And like Rick Hill said to me, Coach, I'm not going to help your kid or their kid. I'm just going to call what I see them play on. I thought they were very, very consistent. I mean, I thought they were exactly one end what you had on the other end. So we had fouls to give, they had a foul to give. We were going to give them. As a matter of fact, when we held it for the last shot, we were going to crash with everybody but one. And if we went over the back, we went over the back, we didn't care. We were going to try to tip it, throw it in, didn't matter. So uh, I, I'm pleased. I'm very pleased with our effort. Pleased with the intelligence of Evan Lance. He hung in with all, all that size. Had to kind of do it by himself in there because we didn't have a rotation. And uh, you know, he hit three or four buckets for us. I'm not sure how many, but he had a real key one there. Off a nice pass from Corey Trust on a penetration dump. Uh, I thought Corey Bosley after the first quarter, I don't know if you noticed this or not, he was just a passer for a quarter. Yep. He didn't even look to yep. score, he didn't look to shoot. That was okay with us because he was getting us organized as to how we were going to have to do things. The floor was so slippery, it's amazing. Uh, Coach Hetrick was telling me before the ball game they're working on it. They don't know what happened, but everybody's ice skating on it. And it was crazy again, and, and the number of slips and falls. That's why the referees, I thought, did a good job. They didn't penalize you for the slippery floor and such play on. I told Mike that with uh, eight seconds to go, and you called the timeout, and we were tied at 52. I said, Mike, I'm, I'm comfortable with Southern right now. If I got a coach that I want to have in this situation, it's going to be you. And sure enough, it came through. Well, John, it's nice of you to say, but honestly, kids came through. Uh, I, I, you know, we used the timeout to try to set something up, knowing they may, know, and figuring they would know to use the foul. And Coach Moore is obviously that good. He did use the foul. He used it later, and I thought he might. So I had two things I thought we could use or run. Uh, I guess he outboxed us because he, he fouled one second to go. And I was trying to not get time put on. I wanted them to huddle. I wanted them to meet so we could make a call on a play. Uh, one second play is not in your repertoire too often. One second is not much. We wanted to make sure we went to a kid. I thought they would look for Corey Trust. So because of that, we tried to scream for Rosalind, and he happened to hit one. Yeah, he certainly did. He lobbed it over. There was a guy right in his face, too, and he lobbed it up high, and uh, it wasn't cheap. It was nothing but the bottom of the net when it went through. And uh, I I'm hope glad it didn't hurt him in the collision down on, <laughs> on the celebration. I'm glad nobody got hurt. Well, I hope I didn't blow any radios off any tables when it went in, too, because uh, it was uh, as exciting as Justine Pagenhardt shot last year. Oh. I mean, not at that. it wasn't that big of a situation, right. but it was uh, It was a great ending to, to one great basketball game. Yeah, the difference was that Justine behind. Yeah. See, yeah. We knew at least we're going overtime, we don't turn it over. Think about high school kids that can be pressured an entire time and hold that ball for a minute, two seconds, and be able to execute that and hold on to it. We tried to get an easy one. When Corey Treasure hit the big shot to give us the two-point lead, uh, then he came back, took an ill advised one, scored tight. I wonder or with, with us up to when we stopped him. I wasn't too happy with that one, but hey, that's Corey. That mindset for shooters and scorers or hey, I can score anytime, anywhere. I mean, obviously, we need to teach him time and situation, and we'll continue to work on that. I'm sure he saw that. He was 15 feet wide open, so why not? You know, yeah, when he had right those he's saying, you better not shoot that in the deer. So. Yeah. But if it went in, it was don't shoot, don't shoot, good shot. Yeah, we've had that happen <laughs> throughout the years, I'm sure. That's for sure. Well, Coach, this one uh, is a great springboard into Friday. You got uh, you got the matchup with Allegheny Friday night. Yeah, Friday. Down at their place. And... Uh, it's just uh, a good good win going into that. We're looking forward to that. We're, we're excited about that opportunity. That's a place we like to play. It's a place that we'll be prepared for if we can get healthy. we got to hope this second run of the food doesn't run through everybody. we got to have handball for that game. Our, our rotation became a little different. Uh, I stuck Nick Gregg in there earlier. I gave him a chance to, uh, and he did a good job. And when you come in as a sub, as long as you don't do anything negative, and he played pretty good defense, we were happy with Nick. But he hasn't been in a lot of pressure situations. So we were pleased with him doing well in that situation. Didn't run him in the fourth quarter for that very reason. But, uh, yeah, we can't wait till Friday. We'll right. be prepared. We, we've already, uh, you know, I haven't. Coach Bender is on the road tonight uh, to see A.J. at Frostburg State, and that's what he should be doing. It's his son playing in his sophomore year. But uh, that's his scout. He'll have us as prepared as, as you can imagine. He'll have all that broken down, and we'll get to work on that tomorrow. Another, I'll start tonight. I'm sorry, John. I'll start tonight. Another nice defensive night from Brad Reed. How many times did he run into that screen? Uh, well, I'll tell you what, those screens were not illegal. They were legal screens. We just weren't calling them out. We got him <laughs> stuck. We got Brian DeWitt stuck in the first game at about yeah. 30 feet away, 50 feet from the hole. Are you okay? 
I know. I don't know what he's got. I'm sure he's got a stiff neck. I'm sure he's got to have a headache, and I hope he doesn't have a concussion. I don't think he does. We've got to have him back for Friday. That's a tough loss for our JV kids. Without Timmy Reeves, that was a hard game to win. Sean McCurry back for the first time in a long time, and he played very well. I was really pleased with how he played. So it's a tough loss. You know, it's about 10 when they fouled the end to get back in it. Uh, our JVs are doing fine. They're learning. They're playing harder. Eric Cousins is coming. DeWitt's a good player. He's going to be fine. He'll help us. Uh, I thought Michael Edwards played pretty well at times for them. But they got a tough road to hope uh, on Friday, same as we do. But I can't wait. I, I can't wait till tonight to get organized. And hopefully our kids will get healthy and ready to go. And then we'll get back uh, in, the, in the things tomorrow from school and from practice. Well, Coach, I know you want to get back with the kids and uh, talk to them. And then we've got a foggy ride home. Although the fog had uh, pretty well gone away when we came down. So hopefully it won't be too bad going back. Uh, we look forward to Friday night's game. We'll talk to you, of course, on the pregame show and uh, just give the kids our congratulations. Just a great, great victory here tonight for win number 15. Yeah, we needed that, man. I appreciate it, guys. Have a safe trip home. Thanks for having me. Mike, good to see you, buddy. Uh, had another buddy here the other night helping. Now we got Mike Hill again tonight. Well, you know what we had to do? Was Saturday night we had to bring Bill and Jonathan in to get our ratings up a little bit. And tonight we brought Mike. They went up a little bit more. So uh, we're ready now. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> thanks and be careful. Okay, Coach. Coach Tom Bosley of the Southern Rams, who just uh, played a tremendous ball game tonight, found themselves down 31-24 at halftime, came back for the third quarter lead, and uh, then finally won it on a one-second basket from Corey Bosley at the end. Uh, you've been over there figuring, Mike, uh, you got to have some kind of information for us. Let's take a look at our game stats. I got some information. I, I tell you, when I've heard you guys say unofficial stats before, I, I know I've, and I made this comment before that, um, you know, I, what Roger does every, almost all these games, you know, every game he does this and smoke's rolling out my ears. I know that's trying to add all this up. But Roger has his shoes off and everything right now trying to count. So. I, I believe that. So I, yeah, I respect what he does every week, but uh, we'll give it a shot here. As we said, very unofficial stats, but um, for the game, Southern out rebounded Petersburg 23 to 19. Um, from the floor, uh, two point attempt. Actually, very even, first of all. Let me make that comment, you know, for the stats throughout the whole thing. Uh, Southern shot 18 for 37 with two pointers, five for nine from the three point line. Uh, total of 23 field goals out of 46 attempts for right at 50%. I can figure that one up even. Um, for Petersburg, they were 18 for 34 with twos, only four for 12 from three-point line, which may have been down a little bit because you could tell they, you know, they looked to shoot the three uh, quite often. And they were 22 for 46, so just under 50%. Uh, turnovers, Southern led, I guess you would say, the, you know, in turnovers, 11 to six, but only committed four of those turnovers in the second half. So that was a key that they, you know, took care of the ball. And we made some other comments about, um, about them, you know, taking care of the ball, looking inside, and on it strong, head fakes a lot of times. I said there was more three-point plays and more attempts than, than I'd seen in, you know, a long time. So, um, you know, overall, the stats, as we said, were pretty close. Um, final score, Southern 54, Petersburg 52. And, uh, you know, we said just a great high school basketball game. Sorry about that, Mike. Just got a phone call from Roger. He said Southern beat Fort Hill by two in overtime. Northern. Or Northern beat Northern. Fort Hill by two in overtime. Uh, that's a good win for them. Garrett County you know, did all right tonight. Yep, I tell um, you, this goes back to what we said at halftime, Mike. Uh, these playoffs are going to be fun because it, it, right now anybody in this eastern region can win it. Yeah, that just yeah we talked about that on that on the way down, and, and that just proves it a little bit more with uh, you know a nice win for Northern. Um, man, you know, anything can happen. It's going to be wide open, that's for sure. Did you get all the stats in? I'm sorry, I had to jump off there. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, Roger needs to work on his timing a little bit. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make turn, it tougher for me. Turn the radio on. Kind of left me out <laughs> stranded there. I'll have to talk to him about that. Yeah, but yeah, right. I got through everything, and like I said, everything was you know fairly even. Just so well, obviously. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket time to figure out in a 54-52 ball game. You know, everything has to be pretty close, and it really was. But uh, a, a nice effort by Southern. Uh, we said, you know, 
first half, we made comments about uh, Petersburg's man-to-man defense giving us some problems, and you didn't see that in the second half. We, you know, there again, you know, Coach Bosley's going to make adjustments. If, if anybody's going to, you know, it's going to be him, and he made the comment in the post game that if you want a coach and a team or and or a team to come down tight with a minute left, uh, I'd put, you know, kind of take it to the bank with Coach Bosley and the Southern Rams that they're going to get the job done, and that's what happened. Yeah, and an equally tough performance by the Petersburg Vikings who just played their hearts out tonight. They were on a uh, pretty good win streak, and the Rams come back and stop that this evening. Individual scoring on tonight's game for the Vikings. Travis Moore had four points. Cliff Alt had three. Adam Berg with two. Casey Vance had six. Caleb Rohrball with ten. Josh Taylor had eight, Kevin Burton with six, and Ben Wetzel, who I think is one heck of a player, had 13 on the night. Uh, was in foul trouble early, but uh, came back and, and hit some pretty nice shots there towards the end. For the Southern Rams, Corey Bosley with 20, including a two-pointer with one second left on the clock for the victory tonight. Brad Reese had two. Uh, Chris Miller with three as he co- uh, converted a uh, foul, uh, basket and then the foul shot. Evan Lance with eight tonight, at, uh, I think six or seven block shots underneath, did a nice job for the Rams tonight. And the uh, high point for the game was Corey Tressler, who turned in 21. So just a, a great victory for Southern. They're 15-4 and four now as they go to Allegheny. They've got when, uh, Wednesday and Thursday to prepare for that. And then I'll tell you what, we need to pack Allegheny High School's gym that night with Southern fans because uh, we're going to knock them off. Yeah, that's, that's going to be fun. I uh, have the opportunity to get down there with, you know, with my work schedule. I've already talked to a few other people that are going to try to make that one. Is, you know, the calm hits you kind of here around town. <clears throat> Excuse me, kind of here around town. But, um, yeah, because that's, that's a big one. And that's, a, you know, maybe a little bit of a preview of maybe a championship and that what you say, the western part of the west region, or yeah. you know, however they separate that. The west part uh, you know, of the west. we don't want to look a, look ahead because they say <laughs> it talks real good and all that, but uh, definitely, you know, get as many people down there in red as we can get. They'll have that upper, what they call the stage area or whatever, they'll have those bleachers opened up, and uh, it, I'd say it'll be a packed house. Uh, Friday night, you know, try to get down there, anybody that can. Uh, it'll, you know, be a good game, be a lot of fun. Let's try to knock off the campers. Well, tomorrow night, for a program note, we have a doubleheader going as uh, at 6.50 airtime, 7 o'clock game time, Garrett College versus Prince George's College. That'll be on uh, WKHJ 90, or 104.5, our sister station. And at uh, 7.15, with a tip-off time at 7.30, the Southern girls play these uh, Lady Petersburg Vikings, who are 18-0, and 0, I believe, are on an 18-game win streak. They're not 18-0. and 0. Uh, Just a tremendous team. They're number one in West Virginia, number one in the area. And uh, that's another time that Coach Roger Bowman and his crew could use a big crowd up at Southern tomorrow evening. So be sure and tune in. Uh, better yet, come and watch the game. If you can't, be sure and tune in. Once again, it's Garrett versus Prince George's at 6.50, 7 o'clock tip-off, and the Southern girls against the Petersburg Lady Vikings at uh, 7.30, 7.15 airtime. So uh, that's going to wrap things up from uh, Petersburg High School. Mike, I want to thank you for coming by, and thanks for reminding me of that, too. One other little uh, matter to take care of, our Browning's Oakland Food Land player of the game, and I'll let you do that. Yeah, I I think, you know, we got ahead of ourselves, we said right there at the end of the game and all the excitement um, that, you know, Corey Bosley hitting that shot with one second left kind of sealed the deal maybe for player of the game, but, you know, I didn't really have the individual scoring here until you just went over it, but, you know, there's two guys, and, you know, it could win either way. Corey Tressler, and I, you know, I tried to comment on that in the in the pregame that he needed to come out, or we had to have him come out and put forth the effort that he did. And he, you know, a lot of times kept us in the ball game, hit some big shots. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure he hit our uh, five three pointers that we had. Uh, looking over your shoulder here a little bit, he hit at least three of them. Okay, um, but um, he had three. But anyway, he, you know, he hit a couple threes when he had to, you know, we were having a little bit of trouble getting the ball inside and then a pressure defense, and he knocked down a couple threes. It really helped. But I think the player, the, the Browning Foodland player of the game has to go to Corey Bosley. Just a great effort, I mean, as, as he's done all year. But, you know, the effort he made, taking the ball inside, handling the ball in that last minute of the, you know, the ball game, uh, the fourth quarter, it was, it was him for about 50 of those, you know, 58 seconds or whatever we had. 
and then hitting that, you know, shot on the baseline to, to win the game, he's very deserving of that honor. Yeah, he is, and, and you're right. You could uh, you could look at Corey Trestle, you could play, look at Brad Reese for the defensive job he did tonight. Uh, I don't know. There's just so many players. This is a team, and, and everybody stands out, and everybody works hard. And uh, it's really hard to pick an Oakland Foodland player of the game, but uh, I think tonight Corey Bosley very well deserves that honor again. And uh, it just this was a tremendous game, and I'm still getting settled down. Maybe by the time we get to the top of the mountain, yeah. uh, we'll be settled down enough to at least drive. And we commented a little bit about Petersburg, and, and they have playoffs to look at coming up too. I mean, I don't know, you know, that much about the. The region there, and I heard some guys behind us here talking that they'll play Kaiser and they'll play some of the, you know, some of those teams. But I would certainly look for them to make some noise in, you know, in their uh, side of the playoffs. And um, you know, it doesn't look like either team is going to, you know, be an area champion this year. But there's certainly, as we said, there's not much of a drop off between I don't know one through maybe you know at least down to five or six or Tell however many votes they, you know, however many they get. Tell you what, I'd almost argue with you if we can win out. We could beat Allegheny, Fort Hill, BW. I think the area championship would come that's, up to that's Southern. That's true. I'm sorry. That's yeah, a big I deal, though. Yeah. I mean, that's a hard job to do, but uh, right. it could that's, happen. That's true. I, you know, I wasn't thinking that far ahead, but I was <laughs> meaning you know, this game tonight. But I'll tell you what, that's two very good basketball teams that we just saw tonight. Exactly right. That's going to wrap things up from Petersburg High School. Once again, our final score, the Southern Rams 54, the Petersburg Vikings 52. For Mike Hill, I'm John Hill. Have a good evening. Thank <laughs> you.